Hey guys, you're watching Swan and Ali. My name is AJ, and we are back on an episode of Let's Build Springfield. What is this, like episode 30 something, I think? It might look a little bit different to what we left off with last time we were at the power plant. That's because I've uh, basically just put in the concrete that would be on the floor. Like, the main surface area of the park. It's uh, of the park? <laughs> of the plant. That's what I was meant to say. That I, that I need to delete. That's nothing. Don't worry about that. So it's got like this diagonal bit and it goes around. It's actually going to be a little bit bigger because this clay path is actually going to go around the outside as well. But we'll do that at the end. I also put the car park down. I think you all know how to do a car park. I don't need to um, <laughs> show you how to do that. And then what I've started here is building the national grid. Now I haven't done anything that's super complicated or, or uh, you're not going to be able to do if you didn't watch me build it. Uh, but these are like the pylons or, or like the energy receptors that sort of build up power and they convert it to the right voltage for the city that's what i assume they do i'm not 100 percent sure i'm not uh, uh i'm not someone that goes around power plants and uh, explaining to people how they work but i have seen them uh, of images of these uh, in real life uh, like like uh, and they pretty much they're, they're the same on all power plants they don't have to be uh, a nuclear power plant to have this. This part is basically just like the the grid where the power comes out of the plant and then gets distributed uh, throughout the city. So there's it really doesn't have anything to do with the plant. Just the energy from the plant gets sent to here. And then these giant white things, they're like uh, cylinders in real life. Obviously, we can't do that in Minecraft to this scale. But they're like giant cylinders uh, that I think either charge it or they're like resistors and they actually drop down the voltage to be able to be sent to these, which are the electric pylons. You know, we've all seen these in fields. They're usually a lot bigger, but here on The Simpsons, they seem to be a lot smaller. And then they get sent throughout uh, throughout the city and into the houses and into the walls. And it's all the happy days for everybody. So let's build another one of these because you might want to build this. If you're building it with the mods, then you might want to follow along. If you're not building this with... Uh, with the mods that I've got and you've only got like your normal Minecraft on console or whatever Then don't worry if you imagine that one of these is Two full blocks, so it's like scaled up. Okay, so that is technically the same as that just smaller Okay, if you copy this build in full blocks, I guarantee you it will look amazing It'll be huge. It'll it'll look like uh, an actual telegraph pole uh, might even be quite close to the correct scale as well, and uh, yeah, it, it's just it look cool. So if you do do it, let me know. I'll be I'll be very happy to um to see a, a a picture of it if you send it to me via Twitter or Facebook, both of which can be found in the uh, description below or social details. So you have to do this sort of weird block place placement on this first one, otherwise it doesn't let you place the blocks anywhere. Uh, like you don't come up with like a little grid like this to be able to tell you where to place them. So you have to do it like that first. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then up another one. Whoops. I haven't been up too long. So uh, my mouse hand is a little bit asleep at the minute. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to go like this. To be able to place these ones on top. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, 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 that's right. So like this. Like this. And like this take these ones out it looks funky at the minute we'll get there though and then up another one oops up another one like this are we getting night time let's make it daytime keep it nice and bright and like that what's the weather like today where you guys are for me it's just overcast there's nothing nothing shining it's not raining it's it's not really terrible weather it's it's a little bit nippy but it's one of the saddest weathers, I think, because if it's sunny, generally, I'm going to put those on here as well. If it's sunny, then you're generally quite happy. You're like, yeah, 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 it's sunny. I can go outside. I could do this. I could do that. There's nothing really in your way, nothing stopping you from doing anything. If it's raining, you're like, okay, it's raining. That's no problem. I'll, uh, I'll go inside and I'll play some Minecraft or I'll do some of this or I'll do some of that. There's no problem. But when the weather is sort of neither, it's not raining, but it's not sunny, it's just cloudy, and you can't tell if it's going to rain or not, you're unsure. 
uh, then that's the sort of depressing weather because you're like, well, do I risk going outside? Do I risk going out and then it raining and we all have a very bad time? I don't know. And then you end up sitting inside and then sometimes it actually does get sunny and you're like, oh, I wish I actually went out now. <laughs> you know, it just seems to always get you. And above that, on top of that, it always makes me feel tired. Overcast, cloudy weather makes me feel really tired. I think rain makes me feel a little bit tired. If it's a thunderstorm, I feel really tired because I'm like, oh man, it's raining so hard that I can't really do anything. Sometimes it can rain so loud that I can't record because the recording will just be like a load of raindrops. And uh, it just makes me go, oh, well, there's nothing on TV. In fact, the TV can sometimes be so, uh, the rain can be so loud that the the TV uh, either has like, um, like problems, interference problems, or you can't hear it and you've got to turn it up really loud. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't like any weather, really. I think that's what I'm trying to say. That's, there you go. That looks okay, doesn't it? I love that. Okay, we're going to go over here now. I don't like any weather. If it's sunny, if it's too hot, I complain. If it's too cold, I complain. <laughs> it's like, you just can't win. The weather can't win for me. Okay, I'm going to add a couple more of these. These things, I was looking on the uh, on the pictures. I don't know what they are, but they're like down on the floor. There's eight of them that I could count. And it really does make the whole place. It's really just adding that detail to the place. Here, I've put down a little clay... Uh, sort of lighter concrete area and in here I think I might use full blocks for this one these go up three blocks and then I'm trying to get the right shape they're really quite weird so they're gonna be there's there's four of them so if we do like that like that uh, oh that fits in perfectly look at that I didn't even mean to do that and then they come along this way right up to yeah, I'm going to make this clay a little bit longer. I'm going to go from here to here. Set to clay. And then we go up with the iron blocks. Yeah, like this. I'm just looking on the image. It's really hard to try and follow these images because they're so small. And the detail is so little that it, you have to have so much imagination to try and get something that looks like it's, it should be here. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have another one of these. How wide was this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that's easy to remember. We're going to leave a gap in the middle of about that much. And then we're going to go... Oh, how on? Did I click there? No, I'm going to go there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we're going to go this way. And line it up to there. Send it to clay. We should have the same... The same square. I could have just copied and pasted, I suppose, thinking about it now. <laughs> but I didn't. I don't think it really took that much longer. Okay. <laughs> these are like giant... I don't know if these are pipes or they're to do with the electric. They might be giant cables. They might be giant water pipes for cooling. They might be waste disposal pipes. There's so many things it could be that I don't even want to hazard a guess in case I'm wrong and embarrass myself. It might not be any of them. It might have been... <laughs> I don't know what else it could be, but I'm probably wrong either way. You guys will inform me, I'm sure. There's probably a nuclear uh, scientist that watches me. God knows. There was... What was that? When I was building the plane uh, on one of the series, I was building this giant plane, and I mistakenly... I mistakenly said that it was, um, I was basing it off a Boeing 747 or something like that. Uh, just a, a plane that I sort of have heard of. I'm not a huge uh, plane fanatic. And uh, I got a comment from, uh, uh, he was some sort of pilot in something it seemed. He, he knew what he was talking about. He wasn't like uh, making up what he was saying. He did know somewhat. Uh, uh, knowledge about all these planes and stuff like that, and uh, he said, um, "That isn't a a, a Boeing or seven four seven. You've uh, based that off the uh, I don't know Heisen Bosian thirty eight or you know some some completely random name that I honestly would have absolutely no chance in knowing. Like unless you're 
a huge play fanatic, you would have no chance. Eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But he didn't say it in a completely horrible way. He was just informing me. But it was like, I, I, how am I supposed to know that? I play Minecraft. <laughs> That's all. I play Minecraft. I don't know what I'm building. You know, I know what I'm building. I don't know what I'm building it off half the time. Um, <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for your... Uh, for your knowledge, I do appreciate it. What block did I use for these buildings? I used the brown. Okay, so we're going to do that. I'm going to grab some more of this brown because we missed off one tiny little building last episode. So I'm going to do a three high building from there to here. And the ID of it was 159.12. Set to 159.12 like that. And then the door goes in the front here, so we need the the darker clay. Yeah, it's black apparently, isn't it? It's definitely not black. 100% it's not black. Okay, and then we're going to put this in here. Like that. And then there is another one of those um, electric pylons. In fact, there's two more. There's one uh, here, right there. And there's one in that corner. So I'm going to just jump off camera for a second and build those again. I can't copy and paste them because of the IDs, the block IDs in the game. It's messing up for me at the moment. So i just got to rebuild them. But I'll do that and I shall be right back. Okay, that took a surprisingly long time just to put those two in. I cannot believe how long it took. My eyes are watering. I think I might have um, not blinked for... <laughs> not blinked for too long. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done with the interior here of the building uh, I'm actually gonna put car parking spots on this side there's nothing on this side on any of the images uh, apart from a few cars that are parked down here so I think I'm gonna put car parking spaces on that side at some point but I would really like to get a lamp post in a lamp post design because they are there are lamp posts only down the paths but they are in here so I'm gonna go up four blocks no I'm gonna go up five blocks and I'm gonna come this way Maybe like, whoops, just that would do. And then put a piece of glowstone on the bottom. Yeah, I like that. It's a nice simple design. And then there's, there's not too many of them. They're in the car park as well. It's nice because it's actually going to give uh, all of these paths and stuff a little bit more elevation than there actually is in the place. Especially on that car park there. The car park looks very, very flat and looks like there's nothing really going on. But with lampposts above the the car parking spaces, it's going to look a lot better. So yeah, they go down. They sort of stagger their way all the way down. And then there's going to be some over here as well. So we're going to do like... I know we can't do it dead in the middle. Oh, well, we, we can, apart from when it comes to doing it sideways. No, it won't work. It won't look any good. So three, four, five blocks high. And then I'm going to come out this way and out you know I'm gonna need a single one aren't I I'm gonna have to cut this down um, cut this one down again like this like that because because I have foreseen this is like one and a half on this side so then on this side we're gonna have to have one and a half to make it an even even on either side. And then we're going to get our glowstone back again. It's nice to be able to cut glowstone. That that could come in handy in all sorts of things. Okay, we've got to cut this down as well, apparently. Let's get that. And cut that down. Wonderful. And then on this side, we just put two singular ones. It's not going to quite look as good, but it's got the shape in. And it'll bring actual light at darkness here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that looks, that actually looks quite cool. Imagine when we've got all those lights in. Uh, I think that'd look great. Okay, back to noon, back to noon again. Now what we need to do is we need to go around the whole edge with the clay, which is going to take us absolutely no time at all. And I'm going to go three blocks wide. I'm going to give us a nice big path. And then it's the fence. And we should be able to actually build the fence in no time at all as well. Did I just put cla in? Yeah, I did. It knew what I meant with cla. Maybe it heard me. It's like, ah, AJ, I know what you mean. You don't need to be exact. <laughs> I don't know. Either that or it just knows, like, 
common ones and common spelling mistakes. It could be. It wouldn't surprise me. Over here. So basically, we've just got to go around the entire edge. In fact, the concrete goes further out on this way, but it's just got one path leading out. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep this as if this was the whole thing, which it pretty much is because you never see any of the rest of it. Anyway, let's come down here. And the diagonal bit. This was always hard. <laughs> this is always a little bit difficult to do anyway. But we need to go like three blocks. Like this. This should this should do the pattern. We should be sticking with... Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Undo. No, it's not undo. Undo. It should be from there to there. Why is this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm, I'm, I'm understanding how the pattern goes like that. And then we're fine. And then we go from here to there. Set. There to there. Set. So then then what we're doing is we're keeping the same um, decrease of two blocks. Yeah, like two grass blocks, two grass blocks, two grass blocks. Same as here. Two clay, two clay, two clay. We're keeping that same pattern. But we're just adding three clay blocks to the edge uh, to have that walkway that we wanted to go through the middle of it. Okay. Oops. I did get it right. Uh huh. Maybe eventually I'll get rid of this giant black mold hill that I accidentally made while um, I think while building the uh, the cooling towers. I think that's what it was from. Uh, from there to there. Let's remove this. <laughs> Oh man, it even took up the grass as well. You're joking me. In fact, it's probably gone below the grass as well. Come on, only a few more blocks. Only a few more blocks. And then we'll probably just world edit this. It'll be easier. Set to grass. It worked! <laughs> I can skip out an S as well. <laughs> just lazy. I wonder if you can just take off the last letter. Oops. The last letter of all of the blocks maybe i don't know unless there's ones that it could be two or more options i suppose that is something but anyway we're nearly there we'll come around here down here burns's manor i think is going to be the next big build obviously we'll stagger the episodes like we did with this power plant so we'll do like one episode here one episode uh building a house or building uh, a small shop or something like that and uh and we'll do the same with Burns' manor. I'm very excited about that. I've got a Mr. Burns skin and I've got a Smith's skin. So uh, I'm not going to put them at the power plant. I want to put them at their manor. Uh, at the manor there. That's where you, you see them a little bit more, I think. Um, I don't know. Maybe you might see them in the power plant. I don't know. But if we do it in there, then they're going to have to be in that building. And that building's never going to be seen or looked at, really. That's sort of the, the least interesting part about the whole plant. Is the uh, the actual main building, which is a little bit of a shame. Okay, and then we go from there to there, and join this last bit up to there. This looks really weird at the back, though. If we get, I'm gonna get uh, this to go there. Oh yeah, that's it. That solved it, didn't it? Okay, wonderful. Now we've got this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do something really funky. I think, sort of like almost like a cheat. So. Um, this is actually the entrance into the... Or the entrance would be like down here. And you drive over the path to get in. I think that's how we're going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, let's put that in first actually. So if we had something like this set to Ston. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it doesn't mind what you put in. It just, it just knows. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, so that's going to be the way out. And then we oops. And then we need the way in which will be like this. 1 2 3 4 5 up to there. Set to stone. Set to stone. Yeah, way in, way out because I drive on the left so I'm doing it left-hand roads just cuz I'm me and I get confused otherwise and then what we want is we want a barrier like a red and white barrier we've got white 
So we'll grab some red here. And you know what? I think we're going to cut them down. I think we've got enough time. It's been a long episode for me, but I think we've got time to do it. So put one of these down. Saw and cut it that way. We don't have the white version of that yet, so I've got to put this in. Oh, man. Uh, like this and like that. And then um, iron block. Iron block. Where's my iron blocks? I've lost them. Or what other block, maybe? Oh, like a, a blue, like a light blue. What blues have we got? Yeah, like that. That would be nice. So then we're going to put these up there. And then we're going to go red white red white red yeah and then on this side at the end let's get another white one two three four five six down there yeah, yeah that lines up well and then we'll put one of these down here uh red white red white red yeah, and then we'll have the main road here, and that'll hook up. That'll look nice. That'll look good. Okay, so the fence. The fence is going to be nice and easy for us. I'm going to place down a block there, and I think I want the fence to be three blocks high. Four blocks high. Four blocks high. And we're going to hit there. We're going to hit there. And then we're going to set to iron bars. And we get an instant fence. How simple is that? That saves up so, saves so much time. It's unbelievable. Um, do I want to have... I think we're just going to put the outer fence onto the grass. I think that makes more sense to everything. And we're going to come up here. One, two, three, four. Did I set the first one? Oh, man. No, undo. Undo, that's terrible. <laughs> that's That's wrong. From there to there. Set to iron bars. Yeah, so then we get the outer fence and the inner fence. I need to go around the whole place with this, so I'm going to do that. You guys don't want to watch me do that, and I shall be back uh, once it's completed. Oh, I sneezed. Oh, <laughs> that made my eyes pop. Oh, man. Okay, so coming around for the last stretch here, we're doing the diagonal one. This bit always takes the longest. I hate diagonals in minecraft it doesn't matter what you're building if you're doing it diagonally it's gonna cause a problem somewhere along the line <laughs> if it be oops if it be the roof if it be the walls of something it's gonna be a problem but i did find a little bit of a quicker way to do it here on the back stretch i have uh, i've copied and pasted the angle and uh, and then you just get into position and you uh, and you paste and you you shoot down very very fast apart from when you do it wrong, which drives you nuts. Paste, nearly there. A few more blocks. One, or like five, four, three, two. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't quite there. <laughs> Bad countdown. I'm sorry. Nearly there. You can see the other fence coming into shot now. And I done it wrong at the end. No, no. Paste, paste. And uh, oh no, we can't paste this last one, can we? You know what? I'm gonna just grab them and place these ones down. The only ones I placed. All right, so we now have a perimeter fence that goes all of the way around the park. And wherever it sort of the path goes out into this outer path. I've got the holes in the fences, so it sort of, it all makes sense, it all works uh, as far as, like, navigation goes. But I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. The power plant, whoa, look at those. The um, cooling towers, uh, uh, the whole power plant is actually now complete. I've just got to add a little bit more to the car park and put down, oh man, i got burps. And <laughs> put down all of the uh, the lamps. Posts, whatever you want to call them, street lights, down the paths, and then it's going to be done. Uh, but I've run out of time for today, so I shall be doing this between now and next episode, probably. And uh, and we'll be starting a new uh, project here on the world, Burns' Manor, I think it's going to be. Well, I have to do some research and see what it looks like and any of the details and how it could be done in Minecraft. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye!